So here I am again in New Zealand uh, on the second phase of the iron source test facility, the in installation of the second phase, which is kind of in behind me here. And I'll just flip the camera around and show you what's going on. So if, if you uh, if you watched my last video, it ended right here. There was a Faraday cup sitting here, and the beam just got collected by the Faraday cup, and that was the end of it. What we've done now in this second phase is put this beam line in here and this big magnet which bends the beam at right angles so it comes out to the Faraday cup here. And this allows us to analyze the components of the beam, what kind of particles are in the beam. They vary the amount of current in the magnet, the particles depending on their mass will bend. Some of them won't make it all the way around the corner, some of them will go too far around the corner and, the other, and then others will hit the Faraday cup here and that way you can tell by the magnetic field and the acceleration and so forth what kind of particles you actually have or the mass of the particles that are flying down the tubes. And let's look at the various components. This is gate valve. It actually drops down in here and seals off this tube from the rest of the vacuum box. So you can have, you can take this apart and attach other pieces of equipment here without uh, breaking the vacuum in the vacuum box. This blue thing here is what's called a quadrupole magnet. So there's two quads, one there and one there. And they kind of squeeze and focus the beam in the tube so we get a, a better beam. The particles tend to diverge as they're flying down the, the pipe here. And this pushes them back together and focuses them into a beam. What's next here is, uh, this is just a vacuum gauge sitting on top here. And then we have a, a valve here that we can vent. You can't see it on this side, but we can vent the uh, vacuum if we need to. And then down here is a, a connection to another pump, a vacuum pump here on the floor. This is a third vacuum pump. We had two here before. And now we have a third one there. This blue box here is uh, a pair of slits. What they are is just two vertical plates that can move apart from each other and they intercept the beam and that way you can tell which way the beam is uh, deflected one, onto one slit or the other slit. And we have a seven, uh, second um, set of slits here and these cables here are what uh, bring the signal back from the slits. Inside these little boxes is some uh, protection circuitry so that uh, when the particles hit the slits, they can charge up the slits to thousands of volts. And you don't want that to happen, so this will bleed off that uh, voltage and just allow the current to flow down into a set of amplifiers that we have down here. And uh, actually these two amplifiers, whoops. And then they send the signal back to the PLCs. Now something interesting here, we have a viewport. You can actually see inside the beam pipe and then that copper thing in the inside is the slits and the beam comes across this way and it hits the slits. Another view of the, the big dipole magnet. So if the magnet's turned off the beam will come out here and if the magnet's turned on the beam gets bent and then turns right angles and comes out the other way. This little guy here is a optical wire scanner. It has a fiber optic piece of fiber optic fiber that uh, moves back and forth in the beam. It fluoresces, and we can measure the light coming out of it and get a, a profile of the density of the beam. It's a new product under development. Coming around the side here, <coughs> you can see the other viewport and the other set of slits. And then the connections to the, the dipole magnet here. The big orange wires carry the heavy current up to 75 amps. And then there's a water cooling. If I can point that out. Water cooling here. And there's some thermal sensors along here that uh, will open up if the uh, magnet gets too hot. And uh, the power supply that's supplying this will actually sense that and shut off so it won't burn out the magnet. And then you can see the connections to the quadrupoles here with these orange wires and also the lighter wires for the steering magnets. So that is 
a tour of the second phase. We were only here for three weeks. It didn't take us very long to put all this together. But um, that's what I'm keeping, keeping me busy for the last few weeks here in New Zealand. And uh, tomorrow, which is uh, Good Friday, Easter Friday, we're flying home back to Canada. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Um, a, a little known part of the uh, industry, I think, the particle accelerators. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you the next time. Bye for now.